The popper routes are one of those routes, uh, if executed properly, no matter what the linebacker does, he's definitely wrong. Uh, here we want to take a release through the line of scrimmage. All right, we want to push to a depth of five yards. We want to break to the right or left based on the linebacker's leverage. All right, if the linebacker was to drop into the zone coverage, all right, we would just sit it down right over our alignment, catch the ball, and get it up the field. Here, we're working versus matchup here. All right, if the linebacker tries to collision, all right, you want to uh, avoid the collision and reset the vertical stem and still break at a depth of five yards as you saw right here in those two clips. All right, here as we go to a game, all right, You'll see that the tailback takes a release uh, through the line of scrimmage here. You got to be aware of any line stunts. All right, you don't want to get caught up. All right, um, the uh, coverage lifts off. He catches the ball at a depth of five yards, and uh, he executed a technique what we call uh, the drop and dunk, uh, as we had talked about. Uh, you know when we discussed the check down, uh, and he really you know, got the ball up the field and got about eight or nine yards on a simple bopper route.